One day, the owner brought some people to see the railway. They travelled in the trains and looked at stations. And bridges and coaches. Yes, they would say thoughtfully. We'll take this, or no, we won't take that. Peter Sam whispered to Sir Hamden. Men came and did that on our own line. And then, said Sir Hamden, soon afterwards it was... It was sold, finished Peter Sam mournfully. Peter Sam didn't say anything. The other engines were sent too. What's the matter with you all? We don't want to be sold, said Peter Sam miserably. Sold? The driver was surprised. Who to? To those people who came and talked about taking things. You silly little engine, laughed his driver. They're not going to buy us. They're going to take our pictures on television. And he tried to explain what that meant. Not going to be sold, not going to be sold, sang Peter Sam. He could hardly wait to tell the others. I don't hold with it, he grumbled. Fancy traipsing about making an exhibition of yourselves. I won't do it, I tell you. Tell me something indeed. Just let the fat controller come here. I'll tell him something. Scarlo, he said nothing. He just winked at Peter Sam. The next day, the fat controller had come to explain about the television. Sir Handel kept strangely quiet. Now, I want every engine to take part. I don't feel well, quavered Sir Handel. You poor engine, you can stay in the shed. Sir Handel smiled broadly. And your driver and fireman shall take you to pieces. That will make a very interesting picture. Just what we need. <coughs> Sir Handel's feelings were beyond words. Duncan shall have a goods train while Rusty can show how we mend the line. Please, sir, what about me, sir? asked Peter Sam anxiously. You, Peter Sam, shall pull the special television train. Oh, sir, oh, sir, bubbled Peter Sam in ecstasy. The television men built cameras for cameras beside the line. They put cameras on Ada Jane's and Mabel too, and filled Gertrude and Millikens with words and instruments some cars, cowpled beacons, carried our reels and generators. Everyone practiced hard to they knew just what they had to do. At last the time came, and the announcer gave the signal. Go! We're on the air, we're on the air, of Peter Sam. We're on the air, we're on the air.
We arranged for television, he said, to let everyone see our little old engine. We are proud of him, 95 years old and good as new. There's nothing like him anywhere. Three cheers for Scar Lowy. Peep, 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 whistled Peter Sound, and Scar Lowy smiled. I'm very glad to be home again. Thank you, sir, and all for your nice surprise. Now I'll surprise you. Listen, when I was mended in England, I found my twin. The owner stirred. Is there really another engine like you? Yes, sir, chuckled Scar Lowy. There is. Another engine came to be mended too, called Tallylin. When the workmen saw us together, they laughed and called us their little old twins. Tallylin told me about his railway. It's a lovely one, a Tawin in Wales. Well, sir, they mended us both and sent us home. But I often think of Tallylin. He's 95 years old too, just like me. Please go to see him, all of you, and wish him dry rails and good running from Scarlet, his little old twin. <laughs>